It's becoming apparent to me that our diet, the food we eat on a daily basis, may be the biggest stressor in our life. Imagine living where food just is your medicine and feeling great is completely normal. If it's hard to imagine living in that Native American wisdom, come with me to Western North Carolina for a visit with nutritionist Rodney Booth and Ottawahe Institute founder Jackie Woods. The normal standard American diet is highly inflammatory. That low level of chronic inflammation the evidence is leaning toward, but not showing directly, that it's the base cause for our epidemics around obesity, diabetes, and heart problems. The food, such as the salmon, research has clearly indicated that the omega-3s, the DHA and the EPA that are so important for us, for our cell membranes, and the farmed salmon, and in the genetically modified salmon, is much, much lower than in the Atlantic salmon. So even though you think you might be eating something good, you're really not. The food market, like the rest of society, is a buyer beware. You have to know what you're eating, and you have to have some education to know what kind of a diet is good for you. The same diet doesn't fit for everyone. Some people have allergies. Some people have allergies they don't even know about. They think nasal congestion is common. It's not. Some people don't do well with dairy. It's actually very easy to figure out what a person really needs, but the education right now is not out there in common practice. Mm -hmm. And Ottawahe in Columbus, North Carolina, is actually doing some things about that. For our community and for our store, we grow our own produce and we have our own fields and we use sustainable agriculture with a focus on getting the highest mineral content possible in what we grow, which translates to the highest nutritional value. That by itself does not heal a person. You have to meet that person's specific body chemistry and feed what their body chemistry needs. And then the lights come on. Energy returns, quality of life returns, health returns. Sometimes hair grows back. Yeah, right. Oh, sure. <laughs> Throw Gonna that rub in. salmon oil on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do There's it. a lot of science that goes into the actual preparation of the food. You might get a chicken breast that's poached in buttermilk with a uh, tarragon pesto sauce on it. Well, we don't want the advanced glycation end products in it because that's going to cause inflammation. And we don't want too much fat in it because that causes lipopolysaccharides to translate locate into the gut and turn on the inflammation again. Just what I thought. So yes. it's, it's, you know, <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> it's a lot more than cooking. It's health science. Since most people don't know this, not only are we trying to educate them in this, but we're trying to let them experience the difference when they just buy food, even though they don't know exactly the match that they need, just eating healthier food where they have less toxins in their body and less inflammation, how much different it is in their feeling, mm -hmm. their vibrancy. Yeah. And it tastes wonderful. 